There are two kinds of people in this world. The people who fail to do what they know they should, and those who keep doing things they know they shouldn't. Guess what? You're both. Hi, I'm your host, life and business coach, Marcy Barker, aka your loving kick in the pants. In this podcast, I'll teach you the six steps of my accountability code that will help you wake up with clarity and show up with aligned action steps that make follow through easy and peaceful. All right, let's jump in. Hello, my beautiful people. Today, I have got some really cool things for you. And I was listening to the podcast last week about how I introduced Boss Minded. And I told you guys that the website would be done in like a week. No, guess what? I finished it before that podcast was even released. So way to go me. If you guys have not checked it out yet, I invite you to bossminded.com. It has all of the information you could possibly need. The retreats, the events, there's freebies on there. My book is going to be on there. And it's just the place to go if you need any information at all regarding the Boss Minded community. Or if you want to book a call with me, you can even access my calendar through that site as well. But today I was just going through my group. So the group is now called Boss Minded, a safe community for female founders to grow together. And this was really good because last week I posted a post that said the best advice I ever received was fill in the blank and we tied it to business. So this is one of my clients who shared this. Her name is Laurie. She has not been on the podcast yet. And if she's listening to this, she's going to be like, I know I need to do it. She's been working on a lot of great stuff, but I loved what she posted. And so I said, I'm totally making a podcast episode out of this because I agree with it. And I can tell you that what she shares is so relevant in terms of messaging when you're reaching out to the right leads. And this is also really helpful if you're trying to find your next mentor or your coach because you want somebody who is all in. So Laurie said, this wasn't advice I received on my business, but it has definitely made me see my business differently. This is something I heard just last week. And I'll ask Laurie later to see where the reference came from. But she said, There are three types of people in this world, those that are interested, those that are committed, and those that are obsessed. Those that are interested, it's more of a hobby. They enjoy doing it and have fun doing it, but if something else comes along that distracts them from it, they really don't mind. Those that are committed will show up when they need to and do what they need to do, and they will meet the expectations of what they need, but they typically won't do more than that. Those that are obsessed will do whatever it takes to get the thing and achieve the goal. They can't help it. They eat, sleep, and breathe the thing and are always working towards improvement. The ones who are obsessed are the ones who are really successful. And she said, finally, I begin to think about what I am really obsessed with in my life because it hasn't been my business. I've been interested in my business for years. And I love this because I think we all start out with being interested. We totally start out that way. And then committed is where we sign our name on the dotted line to invest in ourselves with time, money, energy. And then obsessed is like, nah, this is my thing. I want to be known for it. And I remember telling some of my clients that you have to be a broken record about your message. You absolutely have to be because even in Boss Minded, the very first rule is to make an introduction post. So it's like, you have to tell us what you care about, who you are, what you want to be known for. And here's the kicker. I tell everybody, you need to make an introduction post at least every six months because there's new people here. There's people who have forgotten about you and there's things about you and your business that have changed, hopefully, and shifted to be even more congruent with what you want to teach. So being a Obsessed. Grant Cardone also has a book called Be Obsessed or Be Average. And this really speaks to me because I am the kind of person who is into extremes. I'm very black and white. Words matter to me. And I take a lot of things at face value initially. And then I I give myself permission to say, okay, there is some gray area here, but if you believe something, then you should do it. And when I talk about this, And being a black and white person, one of the things that comes to my mind initially was when I was like 15, maybe, probably even younger, I refereed soccer. And soccer was my main sport. And when you are put in a position to follow the rules and to call out people who are not following the rules, you have to be really good with knowing what the rules are and holding that line. And 
I just thought it was so crazy because when I took my test to become a referee, there was a group of girls who were older than me and they were cheating on the test. (laughs) They were cheating on the test to pass to be a referee. And I was like, um, that makes no sense whatsoever. But also it's like, how are you going to uphold the rules if you don't know what the rules are? Like, why would you need to cheat on that? It, It just didn't make any sense to me. But I found myself becoming obsessed with like, you said this, so that's what it needs to be, or this is what it is, so that's what we have to uphold. Hey listeners, the message of waking up and showing up is yours for the taking. In fact, it's free. I've recorded my entire audiobook and I'd love for you to consume it between episodes. Head to marcybarker.com to get instant access to the accountability code wake up and show up. All right, let's jump back in. And when it comes to business and business growth, I think that you do have to define what your lines are and what your boundaries are, even when it comes to finding the ideal client. Because if you're willing to help everybody or anybody, it's going to be really hard for you to uphold what you want to be obsessed with. Because if, for example, when I switched from personal training and nutrition to life and business, I had to tell my clients like, I can help you grow your business and I can help you get organized with your life and your calendar and your productivity, but I'm, we're not talking about losing weight. We're not talking about meal prepping and we're not talking about hormones. I just don't do that anymore. And because I decided to be obsessed with accountability and my process of the accountability code, that's exactly how I continue to help people. I even had a past client We're really good friends, but I say past client because I helped her create her programs and sell her programs and nail down her ideal client. And she messaged me the other day and said, how about this idea that you contract me to help your clients do X, Y, Z? And I just right off the bat had to say, "Mm, that's not going to (laughs) work because my obsession is the accountability code. So if I try to coach towards any other framework or objective, then I'm going to get lost and I'm just not going to be effective anymore. And when it comes to being obsessed, I think that you really got to find out what that is for you because it is totally fine to be interested in things and it's great to be committed to something. But I think being obsessed with it is definitely, you take a different kind of ownership over your business or your priorities when you really are like, this matters to me. And I'm going to do everything it takes to make it work. So from a highly obsessed person who loves extremes, I can tell you that we've actually talked about extremes on the podcast. If you go back maybe 10 episodes, there's a really good podcast that I recorded on extremes. Because if you think of any successful person in the world, they probably have been extreme in some way, shape, or form. And even if extreme is being like extremely consistent... It doesn't have to be big and flashy or do big things, but the people who are extreme in what they've decided to be determined about, they're going to see results in that area. So I want to thank Laurie for commenting this because this is the beauty of the Boss Minded group is that people go out of their way to share these things that help other business owners grow and move forward. And I think if you are at a point where you're evaluating your own level of commitment, I think that's a really awesome thing too. So maybe ask yourself, am I interested? in what am I doing or am I committed to it or do I absolutely love it so much that I'm obsessed with making it happen and bringing this message to to more and more people so that's what I want to share today um a lot of stuff is happening in Boss Minded. A lot is happening for me in in my speaking and my coaching. This week, we are rounding out the last week of the Accountability Accelerator, which has been so awesome. I have the best clients. And I think that... Oh, man, through that, I could probably look at my clients and help them or define them as obsessed or committed <laughs> in, in whatever they're working on. Because there are parts of business where it's like, nah, I'm not obsessed with writing emails. I am not obsessed with my social media content calendar. I am not obsessed with creating lead magnets. But you can be interested in things that turn you on and you can be committed to doing the things in business that are going to fulfill your desire to be obsessed with it. So I think that that's just a fun concept to consider in business. But yeah, 
by the time this podcast goes out, my website, marcybarker.com, will be just about finished. And maybe I will kick myself And maybe by the time this comes out, it'll be all done because I'm kind of obsessed with it. I am really, really excited to move in this new direction with Boss Minded because even if I'm not your cup of tea, man, you will find somebody in Boss Minded who is because this is the kind of vibe that we are creating, a safe place for female founders to grow together. Whether you are interested in your business or you're committed to your business or you're obsessed with your business, there is a place for you and we're going to support you no matter what that level is. So I just want to thank you for being a part of your loving kick in the pants and for taking the time to listen to a podcast. I I hope more than anything that each time you listen to this podcast, you're like, I'm excited. I'm excited to take action and I'm going to go and do the thing because I do care and I do want to be accountable. And, and I just keep getting these feelings that I need to do it because waking up and showing up is all about paying attention to those nudges and then physically being able to follow through and carry out that desired expectation. So if you need any help with this, you know me, I'm more than happy to get on the phone and we can chat about what your next goals are. And this is a perfect timing because enrollment for my spring program will be open soon. And my wake up and show mastermind is opening next month. So if you feel like, hey, I'm ready to be obsessed with some handholding and a loving kick in the pants, then the timing just might be perfect for you. So, all right, we'll see you guys next week for another episode of your loving kick in the pants. Hey friends, I want to thank you for listening to this episode of Your Loving Kick in the Pants. If you got any value out of this episode, I would love for you to drop me a review or share with a friend what you learned. All right, I'll see you next Wednesday for Your Loving Kick in the Pants.